California. So a guy on the way up, part of the Golden Boy stable of young fighters. This is an organization that has signed uh, many boxers as between about 50 and 60 right now at last count and continually growing. So you've got the veterans and the young guys. Here's how they match up. Diaz Jr., 20. The tie also a young age. The height the same. The reach a little bit in favor of Gotai. Let's see if he uses it. And you see the weight. Not much of a difference there. That's the quick overview of Diaz and Gotai. Ten points to the winner of a round. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule here. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. The physicians have a lot to say. And in the case of an accidental foul, you go to the scorecards after the fourth round. We'll explain that if it becomes more relevant. Let's go to Joe Martinez and meet the fighters. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, Nevada, here we go. This first fight tonight is scheduled for six rounds in the junior featherweight division. Your three judges scoring at ringside on the 10-point bus system, Bob Bennett, Adelaide Bird, and Herb Santos. And when the bell begins, your action, referee in charge, Vic Draculich. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing tonight red trunks trimmed in the flag of Puerto Rico. He weighed it officially 121 and one half pounds. As a professional, his record stands three victories, one defeat, and one win coming by way of knockout from Caimito Alto, Puerto Rico. Here is Eric Mancito Gortai. And next is the opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black, trimmed in white, he weighed it officially 123 pounds. As a professional, his record stands perfect in three victories, no defeats, and one win coming by way of knockout. Hailing from South El Monte, California, he has a 2012 U.S. Olympian. Here is the undefeated Joseph Junto. All right, gentlemen, this fight's scheduled for six rounds. Again, I want to caution. Can you punch below this area, you're going to be called low. Full base de bajo de escapulo, carry a model bajo. That I've said, I want you to obey my command, protect yourselves at all times. Let's give you a command of the air face up to the most siempre. Check them out now. Good luck to both of you. Buenas suerte. Okay, so they'll retreat to their respective corners. We look at Diaz, who comes off a win over Alberto Cupido in his last bout. Across the way, Gotai, his only loss was to Jose Lopez, who was 5-0. and So he's fought good opposition, including tonight. All right, let's see how this works out. You know, notice the Gotai's 21, Diaz is 20 years old. You know, anytime you got two young guys, neither really feels like they're an opponent. So although Gotai may have been brought in tonight as an opponent, his record's 3-1. In against the guy. Yeah, you see a three and one guy, Paulie, and he's got some attitude. Yeah, exactly. He's only 21 years old. He's, you know, in his mind, he still has a boxing career in front of him. So, you know, he's looking at uh, at Joseph Diaz as, as a big opportunity to overcome him and uh, make a name for himself. Well, Joseph Diaz, you know, he knows his southpaw stance, but he's trying to continue that momentum coming out of the Olympics. Uh, impressive amateur career, uh, U.S. Olympian, and, uh, you know, uh, comes with a lot of fanfare and stuff in nearby California. The certain presence you get when you've had the Olympic background like he does and certain expectations of yourself coming into fight by fight. And one of the benefits is right away you're on television. Yeah, exactly. You know, that Olympic pedigree has had its benefits uh, among it, among it, among those benefits being uh, more exposure than your average prospect and of course uh, a little bit more money but um, you know they earn it you know the Olympians are there for our Olympians for a reason you know you see uh, Diaz stalking now Gote he's trying to cut him off throwing a straight left hand here there he tried to counter with a right hook nothing big has landed yet but you know, staying patient uh, both guys both guys still have yet to land a good shot but trying to establish themselves good body shot by Diaz 
Now, what could be interesting here, Paul, is he scores with a nice right hook to the body and he shakes up Gotai. Yeah, normally in your fourth fight, they'll bring you in and they want to get a certain type of thing style-wise from what you want to see. Now, what about it, though? The, you know, Gotai's a fairly tough guy you've talked about. So what's their idea, do you think, in getting this matchup for Diaz? Well, you know, yeah. the, the drawback of being an Olympian is a lot of times your opposition is not as easy as, say, another prospect. You know, they expect you to move up the ladder quickly. They expect you to uh, improve faster. Uh, you know, they expect to make money off of you because they, you cost money early in your career. And you're costing, you know, your manager and promoters more money. You know? So, you know, they expect a, a, a sort of an of a quicker advancement. And, you know, a lot of these guys, they come through. You know, uh, Joseph Diaz has a, has a solid pedigree. You're seeing some of his arsenal here with some sh sharp straight left hands, some good hooks, and even some body work earlier on in the round. So, you know, he's showing that, you know, he does, he is the goods. He just has to put it all together here in this fight, and he's been doing it thus far in his career. Left hand to the body here by Diaz. Gotai helping him come up with a good pace for this fight early on. So we wind down the end of the opening round. It's Diaz putting on pressure and Gotai trying to move laterally. Hi, I'm John Sakata. Did you know that chronic hepatitis C affects approximately 1 million Hispanic Americans? I'm visiting my father today. Great day for a move. Yeah, you want to help? Nah, I'm good. Hey, I still owe you that 500 bucks. Yeah, and one more. Huh. You've got direct TV. Yeah. Call them. They'll hook up your new pad with phone and super fast internet. And you can get that uh, whole home DVR upgrade for free. I just saved you over 500 bucks. It's like you owe me now. <laughs> the Movers Deal. Call now to bundle. Plus, get our most advanced DVR upgrade for free. Ever wonder what fuel economy sounds like? Here's what it sounds like in a Ford F-150. It made towing that huge boat around very easy. I'm very surprised that it's a V6. Only Ford offers the available built-in Cleveland EcoBoost engine. Get the best combination of towing and fuel economy of any other truck in its class. Ford, I'm impressed. Get an F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months or lease for just $289 a month. F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 36 years. Scheduled sixth round. Junior featherweight affair. That was the Bellman's call. First round, you saw Gotai use the ring a lot. He didn't try to establish much in, in terms of uh, offense or anything. And again, we, we talked about how his record is three when he's young and he's still in a position to make a career out of himself. But he's going to have to, you know, sort of wake up and try to establish more offense in this round because the first round was mainly Diaz establishing the offense and trying to, uh, you know, impose his will. We see Gotai coming out, trying to throw body shots, but Diaz right away on top of him. What do you think of the size of this round? Small, big. How does it just seem to you? It's a pretty good size, actually. Yeah, like there's a lot of room for these guys to move around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and not be forced into combat. No, exactly. Well, you know, the thing about moving around is you do have to pick your spots in the fight. But you don't want the guy to just walk him down. And right now, Joseph Diaz is doing just that. You know, he's because Joe Gotai is just not imposing enough of a respect for himself. You know, uh, so Diaz is basically walking in, and you know, Gotai is moving his hands a little bit more in this round. And that's what you want to see. You want to see the guy. You know. You don't want to. You don't want to let a guy walk you down just without sort of knocking the door for free, so to speak. You know, right, you want to. You right. want to have a key to open the door. And Diaz has a lot of keys in that arsenal. You know, so you want to. Have, you want to force him to use them. The straight left hand down the shoot key by Diaz. We saw that right hand lead from Gotai. This double right hook on there a second ago from Diaz as well. Diaz teeing off with a nice uppercut, and there's the right hook. And Diaz uh, becoming more feisty here, and really digging with these body shots. How to take the right hand, too. He's stepping it hard with those shots. I'd like to see him mix it up just a little bit. He's stepping it hard once in a while, just puts his, puts his speed together, because he's got this guy bracing for the power. He almost mix up the shots he's stepping in with the shots he doesn't step in, he kind of speed up on it. You know, and then go back to stepping it hard. Right there, he's laying a hard shot out. He just moved his hands to follow it up instead of looking for another one shot, one time hard shot. Another good left hand by Diaz. And you know, another thing that he's doing, Paulie, is some very good defense by him after he lands. Yeah. He's 
Shuffling over a little bit and avoiding the count. I like that. He's, he's make, making sure he has the proper range. He trips, as I say, that he trips on his way in, but he's got proper range. He, underst he understands his distance. He understands when he's punching, and then he understands the proper distance to get back out so that he's out of danger. He's a well school kid. He was in with me for a reason. Showing some good strategy going to the body and to the head. So, Joseph Diaz Jr. Showing some good credentials here against Eric Gotai early on. There is one target, the pay-per-view king. Floyd Mayweather is the undefeated pound-for-pound -pound champion. But danger lurks. Robert Guerrero is the relentless, hard-hitting giant killer. Can Mayweather stay undefeated? It's May Day. Mayweather versus Guerrero. Don't miss it. Tickets on sale now. It's Pep Boy's Great Spring Break. Hit the open road with serious price breaks like a do-it-yourself oil change. Get five quarts of Valvoline Conventional and a Purolator oil filter for $21.99. Buy a second for $16.99. Pep Boy's does everything for less. Three Ohio dads were named Northeast Ohio's 2013 Fathers of the Year by the American Diabetes Association and the Father's Day Council of Northeast Ohio. They'll be honored on June 13th at the Embassy Suites in Independence. For tickets or more information, visit diabetes.org or call 888-DIABETES. Fox. You see you know, some work from the last round. Joseph Diaz sets up with a straight left to the body and then comes up with a hook to the head and then an uppercut to the head. Good variation. Another... Sh another Another spot there with a straight left hand landing shot from Adam Gotay. The kid is he's got some good pop and he's, he's got some speed. You want to see him put it a little bit together and get this guy out of here. He starts putting the punches together. Just a bit. He just missed with an uppercut. That's the one weapon that would complete the cycle for him. He's thrown just about everything else. It's round three of Diaz and Gotay. Gotay. Coming to you from the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas and the Chelsea room in here. Well, interesting way that they do things. Uh, for the first time tonight, they're debuting live gaming in the middle of the boxing. $25 and $15 limit uh, you know, blackjack game. All right. Of course, that's uh, too small for you, Paulie, so that's... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep it away from those gambling tables as much as I can lately. <laughs> Oh, there's a good right hand from Gotai, but it is uh, quite an interesting concept. You, know, you can make it subtle, have a lot of different activities. Always uh, impressed with the new ways they bring boxing and gambling together here in Las Vegas. And that's yet another example. Got to keep it creative, that's for sure. There. There's Diaz trying to move in. There's a straight left hand. I'd like to see Diaz. He's got enough speed to counter punch as well. Go take you see how he's got Gote almost covering up, expecting to take a beating. So a lot of times Gote, it's hard to open him up. So you got to take advantage when Gote does open up. There's a good hook as Gote tries to throw right hand. That's what I mean. And you see what it opened up? It opened up a follow combination. This is what I mean because when the guy knows you're just pummeling him, he's going to try to start to go into the survival zone and start covering up, and it's hard to break that guard. So you got to take advantage when he does open up. And there you go. See what it him? Opens up. And now you close the door, perhaps, or close to it with that knockdown by Diaz. All started because he counted that straight right hand with his own hook. And he followed it up and followed it up from there. That first that first count was part of that whole sequence. And that's why it's over. As you were setting it up, Paulie, so was he. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, Joseph uh, Diaz Jr., that, it's kind of a nice uh, way to watch him get that victory. Yeah, and you know what, like I was saying about the speed, once he saw his band, you know, he started to get hurt there, he, he put the speed together. He wasn't just blowing up on one shot at a time. He put the punches together real sharp, real nice. Good finish, a good transition from the one hard shot into the combination punching and then the finisher. Sensing when to step it into that next gear. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Get a chance to watch him do his thing. See some replays from him. This is when he had him already hurt. He seemed like he had already hurt him. This is a follow combination. Master left hand kind of did it. That was it right there. 
And that's after he was setting it up for a while before that crack into the body. And I like how he got his distance here. And I like the double hook. He used that double hook a lot. The hook to the body, the hook to the head. He kind of pushed him all over into the range of the straight left hand. And then he whipped that straight left hand in real sharp, real fast. This kid has got some good speed, and he can use that to the detriment of his opponents. And you get a good look at that replay, too, showing you the balance and leverage that he had in putting that together. That's one of the nicest things uh, I thought he did in this fight. Let's get the final number. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes in two minutes, 13 seconds, round number three. Primary Big Bang Dragulich called the hall to the contest. Your winner, my TKO victory and still undefeated, Joseph. All right, so that record now goes up to 4 0. Second knockout register for Jojo Diaz, the Olympian who continues to make his way in the professional ranks. So we're going to go to break. When we come back, Holly will speak to Jojo Diaz. Christian Mingle is like that friend that introduced